Now, this right here is the power coming from the electric company into an AC motor. How many people know AC motors have to resonate? They have to go from the power source to the motor, back to the power source. Power's flowing in both directions, back and forth. <clears throat> now, when the motor resonates with something, if the thing it's resonating is the same frequency of the motor, then you'll get a perfect power factor and you'll have perfect performance. If what it's resonating with is out of sync, then you'll be lucky to get 50% efficiency out of a 90% efficient motor because your power factor's off. It's not resonating with the right thing. The electric company puts a transformer on a pole outside of your building. All the motors in your factory are resonating with a transformer on a pole outside. And guess what? These are never in sync with any motor. Do you know why General Electric serves on the board of directors of every electric utility company in the United States? Make dog on sure these are never in sync with any motor. Do you understand the concept? Now, we can build a transformer like this one. It's called a tank circuit. Put it right up next to your motor and let your motor resonate with the transformer. They'll be the same frequency and boy, do you want to see the difference in power for you. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. The motor is running the generator, is lighting the lights. That's the load. I could take my watt meter, zero it out, and put it on this. This is the power coming from the electric company right now. This motor is resonating with a transformer somewhere outside right now. And we look and we see how many amps we're using. Do you have a good shot of that? 18 amps? Everybody sees that we're using 18 amps? Okay, now we're going to go ahead and shut it down, and Ricky's going to hook it up to our circuit. Now, I couldn't have done this with this building because, I mean, I've got different situations everywhere I go. Now it's only going over 10 inches of line resonating with a tank circuit. That's the right frequency. Now we're going to turn it on. It's going to do the same work. This will run that, light the lights. Doing the same job. But now we're going to take a look, and we're going to measure how many amps it's taking to do the job now that we're no longer resonating with their transformer. You see that? What well, we got? 6.8. Remember, we had 18.1. Now we got 6.8. Which one's more gooder? Which one would you rather pay for if you had an electric, if you had a big factory and you had all these big motors in it? Let me tell you something, folks. The electric utility company is going to tell you what size light bulbs to put in your factory, but they're not going to tell you anything about this because they're not making much money on the light bulbs. Let me tell you something. They're making millions, millions of dollars with factories across America with this little con game right here. 